Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will be doing a review and swatch video on the new palette that Kathleen Lights recently released in collaboration with Makeup Geek. So I think and this is really, really awesome that she did it because it's such an exciting thing. And I really do enjoy watching Kathleen Lights. I think she's really sweet and adorable. And this is actually my first purchase um, that I made on Makeup Geek's website. I have never tried any of their products. So this was something that I was very interested in just because I feel like it was with a YouTuber and it was a way for me to try out something from Makeup Geek, I guess. So this palette retails for $39 on Makeup Geek's website. I do believe that it is a limited edition. And let's start off with the packaging. So this is how the packaging looks. It's just pretty simple saying Kathleen Lights right there. And then on the back, it just shows a picture of Kathleen. I think she looks amazing here. And then right over here, it just um, says a little bit about this actual palette, like thank you and stuff like that. So um, this is actually just a sleeve. So this is just a sleeve of the palette, which I think is nice and I'd like to keep. And then this is how the packaging of the actual palette looks. So it's very Makeup Geek style. Uh, Manny, Manny and you... <laughs> Manny MUA's palette was this kind of style as well. I did not pick that up, but uh, it's pretty much Makeup Geek standard style. So it's pretty much more of a rectangular shape. Pretty, pretty thin, so I do like that. Really ideal for traveling. And then this is how the back looks. So my first reaction when I did um, receive it is, wow, I do love the packaging. I think it's really nice and sturdy. It does have a really nice magnetic closure right there. And the size of the highlighters are massive. Like, they're pretty, pretty big. So I went to go get my Mary Luminizer highlighter to show you guys the size comparison. Um, this is pretty much the same size as the Becca highlighters, that kind of category and range. So if you're familiar with that, that's the size differences. Um, in here, you are getting 8.5 grams of product in the Balm. But in the Kathleen Lights one, you are getting, I believe... Um, 7 grams of each so 7 grams of each pan so I do think that's a really really nice size and especially for the price tag I feel like you know it's worth it for getting three full-size highlighters now um, the main reason why I picked this up was because I felt like it was pretty unique also because Kathleen um, you know collaborated with Makeup Geek and also because I felt like they were you know colors that appealed to many different skin tones now for, personally for me I feel like this shade not I feel like I've tried it a few times it is definitely not a highlighting shade for me it's a great shade um, if you do have lighter skin tones just to bronze up your skin with to put on the hollows of your cheeks just for that like highlighted luminosity effect on the skin if you want to be super super glowy especially for the summertime I think that shade is beautiful if you have more lighter skin if you're more of a dark skinned gal or guy then this shade would be gorgeous and beautiful on you I'm like dying for this to work for me but it just literally looks like a, a slice of like chocolate spread on my, on my um, cheekbone so it does not really look that appealing I do like to use this for eyeshadow so I think that's really really beautiful for that and there are a few other ways I like to use it just to like mix and match with certain things but to the most part it is pretty dark for me to use as a highlighter now in regards to these two shades, I really, really do like them. I honestly don't think that they're super um, unique shades, like shades you haven't seen before. Um, they are pretty dark when you look at them in the pan, but when I apply them on my face, I felt like they turned out just a little bit lighter, which I thought was pretty interesting. Because when you look at it, you're like, wow, these are actually super dark. But when you apply it, it actually kind of like blends in with your skin and makes it more of a lighted effect, if that makes any sense. Anyways, this one um, just looks like a peachy kind of gold type of highlighter which that's what it is it's just more of a golden type of highlight which I think is really really pretty and this is how it swatches so hopefully you guys can see right there really really nice and beautiful then we do have this shade right here which is more of like a pinky purpley highlight and that is how that one looks right over here and then this shade like I've said before is more of like a bronzy type of highlight which it will put right there so right over there. So those are the three highlighters I hope you guys can see. And I think that they're really, really beautiful. These highlighters don't actually have like noticeable glitter or shimmer in there. They're just really, really nicely like made and super, super finely milled. So they have like an iridescence to it. Do you know what I mean? It's not like a blob of glitter on your face. They really, really do blend out so nicely as well. And they just they layer well too meaning like you can put t these two together and layer it and it just doesn't look like a blob of highlight like it just really blends in very seamlessly and I'm actually very impressed and intrigued by this just because it's really really a wonderful formula and um, it's just easy, very easy to work with. So I really like that. Now, I really do like the fact that Kathleen did put three colors in here that would appeal to different skin tones just because I feel like sometimes highlighter palettes are, you know, geared towards light skin tone people or dark skinned people. And I feel like it's kind of like unfair to the spectrum. But like this, it's like a little bit of everything. So someone like me who can pretty much only use these two for highlights, 
I feel like this is kind of a waste for me, but I'm still happy that she included it in here just because I can make it work for me. And if it could work for everyone, then, you know, let it be like that, I feel like. So I really do like this palette and I enjoyed I. Um, in regards to the price, I mean, I feel like it would have been a little bit more affordable if it was like in the $30 range, like $30, $32. But for the $39 price tag, I feel like it's still justifiable just because you are getting such huge pans in here. They're very, very like everyday kind of colors. It's not like something out of the ordinary that you're never going to really use. Very everyday, very simple to use and just really a very, very much of a breeze to work with. So I do love that aspect and I feel like if I use this every day then or you know occasionally or frequently, that's the word, then I I'm okay with spending that price tag on this. But if you're someone who just wants a really good highlighter palette and you just want to know what's good for your money, I do think that this is a really good palette just because if you're dark, all of these could probably work for you. Not probably. All of these will work for you and it would look amazing. If you're more on the lighter side of the spectrum, probably only these two would work for you and you could use this, you know, in different ways. So I feel like it could be worth it. However, I do feel like if you do go with something like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, those are amazing. You are getting a little bit less product in each pan, but you are getting four and it's pretty much the same price tag. So, I mean... If, I, if you're really just getting it just to get good highlighters and you want like a whole selection of highlighters, I would go with the, let's say, Anastasia ones, you know, just for compar comparison purposes. But if you just want to support Kathleen and you just want to get something that's from Makeup Geek and something that's beautiful and nice and, you know, pretty large and you do have the main options you would pretty much need, I would say that this one is a really good palette. It's an excellent palette. It just depends on what your preferences are. But besides for that, I think it's just excellent. Overall, really nice and I would recommend it if you guys are looking for a good highlighting palette. So... So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know what your thoughts and comments are about this. I'm really curious to know as to what you guys think. If you guys are going to pick it up, purchase it, not all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys.